it's been a while since I used the GoPro, but uh, I decided to try to set up the classic space layout in my driveway during this time of quarantine and social distancing because I haven't done a show yet this year. Oh, that's not true. I did one in February, but then the issue happened. <laughs> so, so I'm going to sporadically take video with this camera. I've actually got a camera up there that's doing every half a second time lapse and I got this live stream. Hello live stream. Um, on my Facebook because I couldn't get it working on YouTube today. So whatever. Um, and this is just a test anyway. Um, I'm doing this to work out the wiring, work out a few other things, but most people have never seen the actual lay, um, support structure for the layout. So here it is. I'll try to go into it pretty clearly. You can see the four boxes in the corners. One, two, three, four that I've discussed before. The four completely square boxes, top, bottom, left, right, back, forth. <laughs> um, which makes it easy. And of course, as you've seen in my other videos, it holds the entire uh, buildings and stuff in the layout. And uh, so what I did, so I planned it this way from the beginning, is that the boxes would be the legs or the support structure for the frame. And the frame, well, it wasn't too much finagling, uh, three quarter by, I guess, eight inch, maybe 10, maybe eight, I haven't measured it, well, probably eight inches, uh, knotty pine. And you can see that the knots are coming through. I should have probably, you know, used uh, a couple coats of paint. <laughs> but I did, it lasted a year before those knots started coming through. So I'll have to repaint it and yes, take cover over the Ontario brick builders and just use our cricket and build a new one. Uh, print a new one, but uh, so four, four, four sides obviously, and I used bed rail joiners. So I went over to Lee Valley. They had bed rail, bed rail joiners, and that's it. So, um, so as I keep on saying, the inside from this inside lip, that inside lip is exactly five feet because that's exactly what two modules, two old train style modules, uh, sixty inches. Um, and then across is seven and a half feet. So that makes things pretty easy actually um, because the each base plate is 10 inches by 10 inches, uh, three base plates and then 30 inches, which is two and a half feet, which is exactly one train module from the old trained uh, Lego train groups. And uh, so you put two, two modules this way and three modules that way. So it's six modules altogether, six old style train modules. I have modified that for my purposes, but so this is six base plates by nine base plates, which is five feet by seven and a half feet, which is perfect. And going with uh, builder code, which I didn't have to do, <laughs> but, but um, so 30 inches from this corner to here. So this is 30 inch on center uh, and that's 60 and 90. Uh, and so this is 15. Uh, and so, I, yeah, it's not 16 inch on centers, but I don't need 16 inch on centers. I need this piece to be here because that's where the module ends. And this is where the next module ends. And this is where the next module ends. So these things are actually really easy to build. So I just use my uh, radial arm saw and I cut these pieces, these inside pieces. And again, it's three quarters of an inch lower than the lip or half inch lower than the lip because the module sits flush with this then. And then I just cut a whole bunch of blanks like this. And then, and then I put one long strip along the bottom. So I didn't notch everything out. I just one long for the uh, two by fours to sit on. And then I cut all these pieces and just glued and stapled, uh, nailed into place. So that, that was very easy. And then of course, j these are just two by fours. Um, I'm going to replace these two by fours with, uh, I'm gonna buy some three quarter inch plywood and cut them up into strips five feet long uh, because even though I bought the straightest two by fours that I could find at Home Depot, they've warped over the time and they go Meh. so across there's one that's really, really bad. But um, so that's it. And, and I'll take another video when I start bringing out some modules, but um, that's the entire base. So you show up at a show with those four boxes and this, these rails. You put it together and then you start putting stuff on top. It doesn't matter what you put on top now. I could walk on this if I put plywood across. It's strong enough to hold up anything. Um, so I'm pretty happy and it breaks down to next to nothing. It sits uh, these four boxes and that fits in the back of the van. So uh, there you go. Um, 
thought you guys should know this and I will talk to you guys later. So the next update. Um, I showed you the uh, the trusses basically. Um, this is what happened. So that uh, I'll just show you this module first. This is module numero four, um, but it's exactly two base plates by three base plates. So it's exactly 20 inches basically by 30 inches. And uh, so you can see every module ends on top of a 2x4. So that's, and of course, 2x4 in the middle to support it. Now I use melamine, which turns out to be the heaviest stuff since known to man, <laughs> which was dumb. But the reason why I use melamine is because of the, uh, the flatness of it. And it's going to stay flat. Like if I plywood warps after a while, melamine does not unless it gets wet. Problem with that is melamine is stupid heavy. <laughs> so there's nine modules in here. I took, uh, I think it was two sheets of melamine to make them. Um, you can see the white underneath from all the scratches, but um, they are stupid. Oh my god, stupid heavy. So th these are why the boxes with the. Oh, this is one thing that has. Um, this is what two way four really works. Let's just flip it over while I still can. Okay, I'm gonna flip that over because it's warped, and so these things are rocking. Um, which doesn't help me. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, another vid. Um, all the modules are out. So some, just gonna do this really, really quickly. Um, of course, I stenciled all my landing pads. Uh, LL means lunar lander, zero one, pad one, two, three, and four. And then you come all the way over here. This is LS for lunar station, zero one, zero two. This is where the This is where that big monorail station is. You can see that I put the, the tiles down here to hold it. Um, this is a good part about the mod. Okay, so these base plates are actually taped to the melamine, right? They're double face taped. Um, that way I can just take this module and throw it right into there's a bin in there, another box that I'm not going to bother bringing up because it's just too much work. But um, so these base, but this is where the habitat goes, of course. So the base plates are not taped to the Melamine, just same same as over here. This is where the rocket gantry is, and that's where the big station is. But now I can take this one module with the guys on it, and this thing comes off like that, lays down, and goes straight into the box. So I don't have to keep on taking things apart. All these guys can stay up. Well, if they stay up, you can stay up and walking. Right? So I don't have to take and I don't have to take the pips off, I don't have to take the, the sidewalks off. Everything stays. Uh, usually I put uh, a hinge on it so they just bend over like that, but I gotta get better at that. This is where that curve is for the track, but the rest of the supports are still there. Uh, LR, Lunar Repair 01. These guys will go on these little pits here. Um, I'm also putting these little slopes on these guys, or on these guys, so I know where the stanchions are gonna be for the monorails, because sometimes these guys fall off, but these guys won't fall off, right? And again, the old style crater build <laughs> every so often. Uh, like all this, is get, all this gets to stay on, so I don't have to redo it. Um, and sometimes they break. It's gonna be. <laughs> um, so, so there you go. I mean, this, this is it. So I'm also doing this because I have to drill holes into the metal mine to run the wires through. Because I have to get the wiring down into underneath so I can light this thing up. So, there you go. Um, all said and done. And uh, I'll do the next. The reasons I'm working on this today. Uh, well, I have all the time in the world <laughs> uh, Is to actually get the wiring done. So I had to cut a little notches in my melamine to run the wires up. So this is the uh, Rocket launch platform and so this is the connectors coming in um, So that's exactly why one of the many reasons I wanted to do this today while I have the time So I'll just give me a heads up and uh, we'll keep going. Okay. I got my uh, Little power bar down there plugged in the two things, the RCX power here for running the actual track, but the uh, second I plugged in the Rob Hendricks life lights, lights came on, and then I plugged in my tower, and the tower came on, like instantaneously, like I, I as Hannibal would say, I love it when a plant comes together, <laughs> so that, that impressed me more than anything else right now, um, so, uh, 
this is why you put all the effort in earlier and um, there you go so success okay so this is the fun module I'm just gonna do a quick video showing it that is the fun module so I'll show you when I'm done so remember how probably in another video you may have missed it I said that um, that one box had the entire base of the tall tower well there it is that's the entire base so it contains this one piece this one piece this one piece that piece and this pipe I'll go into that one box it's actually one of my favorite builds uh, I see a lot of trans yellow yes you do <laughs> but um, it's also the oldest part of, of this entire layout because this building was back in 2009 even before we went to Chicago um, so this is when I say tell people that this building started two stories tall so it had the, the three doors the garage doors and it had this on top and then it had the two landing plates plates up uh, two landing pads off to the side so that's the oldest part of this entire layout right there um, and it just kind of went on from there so um, before all four sides had this kind of setup this little half curve setup um, but I wanted a monorail station and a train station in the back so um, there's the monorail station and then there's the train station I also had to modify it when we built the boxes because before these bottom row windows were exactly the same as these top row windows where you see that the top row windows they stick out by two studs past the uh, edge here well this edge is exactly with the base plate so it wouldn't fit so I actually had to move these windows back in so it doesn't have that 3d look that the top windows have but it's good enough and this one's blue because I ran out of these corner pieces <laughs> and they're like too much money on bricklink so um so the one's blue the rest are yellow that's fine um, I, I don't know I, I always like that and it just shows you a solid base to, uh, for the rest of the tower um, I think the battery and the GoPro is dying so I'm gonna cut this off right now and we'll talk to you guys in a day okay it's been a little bit of an update since uh, a little bit of time since the last update I might combine all this into one video but um, the layout itself is fully set up it um, it's all up the monorails are all set up that's always the long wherever this piece ends up I don't, I don't just randomly shows up forever um, so there's the layout all done la 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 the interesting parts today um, so as they say this guy is all wired up and that guy is all wired up and the wire goes through right here underneath you can see there's the wires come up right there um, the same with this guy so this guy's all on lights are on area right here is covered in those other boxes so you don't see this but the thing uh, front and back Let's put the side panels on but um, so now my next big hurdle before the sun sets is all this wiring here well this is the wiring for the main building <laughs> main building and I think yeah well, way over there is the uh, that guy so uh I'm gonna work on that for a bit. Um, so I'll give you guys update when I'm done. Oh, this is a nice view. I could, actually, I think I think that angle is always one of my most good, like right down here, eh? And you go all the way up there. It's like one of my favorite angles. Anyway, uh, you guys all take care, and I'll talk to you soon.